I mean, you put this many people in a room and you put this many people watching online and there are people all over, all over who are living in guilt and regret and shame and embarrassment. And and we may not say it to anybody, but way down deep, we are wondering, really, come on, really, can he forgive what I did? Failed marriages, let my kids down, turn my back on my parents, illegal business dealings, addictions, lies I've told about people, extramarital affairs, losing my cool, running my mouth, gossiping about people that I don't like, cheating my boss, dumb things I did in high school, dumber things I did in college. And we think about some of that stuff and we just wonder, man, can really, can really God forgive that, really? The Bible says this. It's beautiful. The Bible says that Satan is the accuser of the brethren. You know what that means? It means that Satan constantly brings those things up into our brain and our spirit, reminding us. You remember when you did that? You remember when you did that? You remember when you did that? And, and that heaviness of could God really forgive that? And the accuser re-answers, probably not. And so what happens is for a lot of people, no matter who you are, whether it's something a long, long time ago or we're talking about something last night, we got this, this question, can he really forgive me? And so I want to dive into the biblical topic of God's forgiveness this weekend. And I want you, I want you to understand that I think if, if you stay with me here, if you go on this journey with me, I think you're going to find at the other end of the study that you're going to find a release of guilt and, and, an, and an absence of shame because I don't think God wants anybody to live like that. And if that stuff is part of your life and part of your spirit and it's, it's inside your DNA where you're, you're worried about what you did and you feel guilty about what you did, I, I just want you to know that there's a freedom and there's a joy and there's a release that God has for people and it is centered on his forgiveness. 